morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We've got a wide variety of trailers available. If you're looking for a new trailer, we carry Cimarron's and Logan's. And then if you're looking for a used trailer, we get a large variety of trailers in on trade. Um, this is actually one that came in on trade very recently, right behind me. Um, and we do quite a bit to our used trailers. So it's not something that we just get in, rinse off in our wash bay, stick a tag on it, and it's ready to roll. We actually have two shops that could potentially be running through this trailer. This one, it just ran through our chassis shop since there's no living quarters on it. Um, but they have a multi-point inspection that they go through. They write up a list of anything that needs addressed, and then we decide kind of what options we need to fix. Any safety items are absolutely a must-have on the fix list. Uh, some of the cosmetic things we'll address if, we, if it allows, um, but it is a used trailer, so if you've got some small scratches or uh, maybe some tears in the, in the mats, that might not be addressed. But we're very upfront about what we've done to these trailers, so if you have any questions on what repairs were done on these trailers, just ask. So let's go ahead and run through this one. Uh, it's a 2014 two-horse bumper pull. It's a straight load. This is a sundowner, so you're all aluminum construction on this one. Aluminum roof, aluminum supports, and aluminum floor. And this one is a very clean trailer. It came in on trade and there wasn't a whole lot that we had to do on it. Um, but every single used trailer that comes in from our two-horse bumper pulls all the way up to our 40-foot living quarters they get put on the alignment machine. So this particular trailer actually needed some new tires on it. The tires were in great shape. They were just out of date. So what we did is we took it to our tire store, had all new tires thrown on it, and then it was put on the alignment machine. And what the alignment machine does is it's gonna help keep those tire wear, keep that tire wear nice and even. A lot of the times people don't, don't think about the fact that tires are just like your tow vehicles or trailers are just like your tow vehicles and they need aligned as well. So one of the things that we do to help prevent blowouts and uneven tire wear is put it on the alignment machine. And our specs are, are really, really good. In fact, if anything comes in that's over 26 feet long or air ride, it also gets put on the alignment machine because we're that much better about making sure that these trailers run down the road nice and straight. So let's go ahead and step in here. Um, you've got a running board that runs all the way down this trailer here. And you can see it's a lot taller than your standard trailer. Everybody is always looking for a good used warm blood trailer. This is seven, six tall, six, nine wide. This is perfect for somebody that just wants to hook up to a smaller tow vehicle and get their oversized horses from point A to point B. This one does have two saddle tiers in here. Um, they are bolted on, so if you didn't need to take these out, that's always an option. I know a lot of people that, that ride English, they tend to have those big tack trunks instead. So if you wanted a little bit more room in here, you can take these right out. You've got bridle hooks on here, and they are adjustable, so if you wanted to put all of those over there, get them a little closer to the door, that is an option. Blanket bar right here on the wall, just a nice easy access place to hang everything. And then on the floor here, this was something that was added on, is actually some tie-down hooks. And I mentioned uh, a lot of people are using tack trunks that have this style of trailer. That's a really good place to, to tie something down. Your spares right here, it's, it's a matching spare to what you've got on the ground there. And like I said, brand new tires on here. And then something that people love on these little warm blood trailers uh, is these little pass-through windows. We do it on a lot of our Cimarron's and you can see what your horses are up to if they're causing trouble. You don't have to go and jump in the actual stall area if you're getting ready and you've got horses in here. You can see what kind of trouble they're getting into. It's a really fun little feature we can do on these straight loads because the horses don't have direct access to that window. We've got interior lights as well as exterior lights on this trailer. Got a nice little pass-through door here. So 
each side of the trailer if you want to open these up and feed and water those horses that are on here. Um, I used to have a warm blood size trailer and sometimes opening these doors will make it a little more inviting for them to get in and out. Nice thing about these trailers, you can literally walk these horses on, um, duck under or, or um, undo this chest bar and you can walk right off. So really, really nice, easy loading situation. You've got big bus windows on this that escape door as well as over the hip side. And then something that a lot of people really love on these warm blood straight loads is that you have the ability to wrap around these Dutch doors. So we usually do a rear ramp with Dutch door over. What that allows you to do is get a lot of airflow moving through on these trailers. I know that when I had a Cimarron warm blood um, with the Dutch doors, I would always have so much air moving through those trailers. Sometimes I'd have to close things up because it was too much of a wind tornado. But really, really nice feature to get keep these horses nice and cool. You've got load lights on the exterior there, and that's going to be really nice if you're loading at night. Your horses can see where they're placing their feet um, because you do have a rubber mat on this rear ramp here. It's just going to be a lot easier for them to see with those lights on it. In the stall area itself, these butt bars easily drop down, hang to the side here. And if you've got a horse that needs just a little bit more room to load, you can actually swing this all the way over to the side, either side of this trailer, and get those horses in and out just a little bit safer. So that's a really nice option, having that, that partial divider um, be able to move over. It is padded, so if your horses are leaning against it or the wall, they're gonna be just a little more comfortable. And then since it's aluminum, if you have a light colored horse, a lot of people uh, tend to think that it's for just for the horse's comfort, but it has a secondary benefit of keeping those aluminum marks off of your horses. So if a Palomino or a Gray rubs against it, they're gonna get these aluminum marks on them if you don't have padding. The floor on this trailer is in great shape. It's just an aluminum floor here, but it was really well taken care of. Um, you don't see it pitting and corrosion, even though it's about six years old. And then, like I said, your, your chest bars are also padded and those drop down just as easily as these do. So you can, get in and out on there as well. Got an aluminum sheeted roof. And even though this one was in Colorado, um, they lived somewhere where we didn't have quite the issues with hail. We've got a nice clean roof up there. They inspect the roofs on these trailers when they come in as well. So they'll look in and they'll let us know if they need a reseal or not. Escape door on this side. Like I said, you can go to either side of those horses in and out. If you had to, you can take this divider completely out and you'll have yourself a nice big box stall. So that's another thing that people like about these straight loads. If they're going on longer trips, they can have a big box stall for their horses if they're just taking one and have plenty of room to be comfortable for their travels. Underneath this trailer, you're running on two 3,500 pound rubber torsion axles. So plenty of axle underneath this trailer. Um, we did the Hercules wheels here, or sorry, tires here when we got them in. We've had really good luck with those. We put them on a lot of our trailers. And once again, you can see we've got the uh, aluminum wheels just like the one in the tack room. So it's gonna look a lot nicer as it ages. You're not gonna have the steel wheels that kind of rust out um, and give, give it a more aged appearance. Up to the front here, you've got diamond plating that runs quite a bit of the way up here. That's really nice because the diamond plating takes quite a bit more abuse than these 050 aluminum sheets above. So once again, it'll just help protect the longevity of your trailer, gives it a really clean, sleek appearance. If you guys have questions on this trailer, you can always check our stock number. Give us this reference number of 5U230. 155 
We do a lot to our used trailers, so if you're looking to buy a used trailer that you know has been inspected, any repairs have already been done, this trailer is ready to roll down the road. It's been pink tagged, so that means it's done through our shop. Then give us a call. We'd love to answer any additional questions you might have on this one or any of our other trailers that are sitting here on our lot. Uh, the nice thing about these used trailers is somebody's already taken a hit on depreciation for you. They're priced at a good value for somebody either just getting into it or looking for a good deal. So give us a call. These used warm bloods do not usually stick around very long. The best way to reach me, I'm Callie Say, is my phone number. It's 970-309-6368. You can call or text at that number. I'd love to answer any questions you guys have. So thanks for taking a tour with me today. I hope everybody has a really great day.